a lot of work is being done to even understand where the lead service lines fully are. The short-term issue is, is about recoding the pipes. And again, that will be based on third-party experts saying the water's safe. Because our goal is to get the water coming out of the tap safe as soon as possible. Well, despite all these new initiatives, people around Flint are still skeptical about the governor. TV5's Ronnie Duncan talked to a few of them and joins us in Flint. The citizens of Flint have heard a lot of apologies from Governor Rick Snyder, but they want more. No, they just don't want money. They want to see the man. They want to feel his presence. They want him to deliver some water. He should be out here with water, passing our water, knocking on doors and such. So I really don't think he's uh, genuine or sincere about his efforts. A thought shared by many, while they watch others do the job, they believe Governor Snyder should be doing as it relates to the Flint water crisis. I don't. I don't think he's doing enough. Uh, I mean, it's painfully obvious. I think uh, he's... I think he's doing what he can. Governor Snyder's appearance today in Flint raised the questions regarding his sincerity and fixing the Flint water dilemma. Even civil rights leader Jesse Jackson, who witnessed the governor's remarks, was left wondering if the passion of the people are truly getting through to the state's top leader's heart. These are just words to the people of this city. They want to see him out within the city, and yet they see him just on a press conference in a newscast. Well, the proof will be in the evidence of drinkable water. The proof would be in the resources to, for, for bottled water, but also pipes that the water can be transmitted through. And it was those pipes that the governor believes could lead to a solution for a quick fix. However, as Dr. Mayor Curran Weaver revealed, the city is not really sure where all of the pipes for the service lines are. That's a huge concern, and that's something that needs to be addressed because it shouldn't have been that way, and that's something that we need to fix. We can't continue to operate that way. That's an old-fashioned uh, way, and we should be more advanced as far as how we've been keeping those records. The city of Flint is now working with the University of Michigan, Flint, and there are students there that are dissecting those index cards, and hopefully they'll put them in the computer in 2016. In Flint, Ronnie Duncan, WNEM-TV5 News at 7 on MyFi.